Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to talk about the lighting circuits. Um, basically about, about one lighting circuit, particular one, when everything is connected at the switch. Uh, but before I do this and show you how to wire um, everything at the switch, I'm gonna um, show you two other lighting circuits which are commonly used in UK. The first one is a ceiling cross connection or loop in system. Um, basically the cable from the consumer unit goes to the uh, first ceiling rows uh, then from this one is going to another then from this one to another and so on up to the end of the circuit obviously all the circuits are radial so it starts at the consumer unit and finish at the last point and obviously in every ceiling uh, rows uh, there are three cables coming into the ceiling rows that when you need to connect it one coming from consumer unit or previous light, one going on to another room to another um, ceiling rows, and one cable is going to the switch. And obviously, we've got cable, the flex cable that goes to the to our light fittings. This will repeat in every room. Obviously, if you've got more lights in one room, so then there will be another cable going onto the uh, to the ceiling rows. The next one I'm going to show you is a junction box connection. So basically, it looks pretty much the same as radial, um, but instead of the ceiling rows, you've got junction boxes hidden somewhere in the, at the ceiling, and you connect all of the all of this dame, all the cables. So it starts on the consumer unit, to go to junction box, from junction box to another junction box in another room, uh, and so on. And in the junction boxes, you've got then um, four cables that you have need to connect, one from the consumer unit or previous light, one that goes to another junction box, one for the switch, one for the light fitting. Obviously all the junction boxes has to be accessible. The third one is a switch connection. So all the connections are, instead of uh, made at the ceiling crosses or junction boxes, are made at the switches. It's quite frequently used nowadays because People, um, instead of ceiling roses with the one bulb, uh, they want spotlights, LED spotlights everywhere, so um, they, don't need, they don't need to have a, a ceiling roses. So if you're planning to rewire the whole house and you tell your electrician that you want spotlights in every room, so I'm pretty sure he will choose the switch connection system as it's more convenient with spotlights. So how it works? Obviously we've got the consumer unit here, uh, so we take the first cable to the switch from consumer unit. Then obviously we need to connect it with the switch to another in another room because we want the mm, neutral and life at this switch as well. So we connect it with the same cable up to next switch and to another room and to the last point of the uh, circuit. And whenever we want uh, ceiling rows or spotlights in every room, uh, we've got just one cable going from the switch to our ceiling. So then in the future, if we don't want uh, the ceiling rows, instead of this we want spotlights, for example, four spotlights, obviously we connect it all together. Then we've got just, we remove the ceiling rows, we've got wires sticking out in the ceiling and we just connect it to the spotlights instead of the ceiling rows. So at the switches, if we use one gunk one-way switch, so we've got just three cables coming into it. Unless there's two gunk or um, two-way switch, so then obviously there's more cables coming in. But we, with one gunk, um, one-way switch, we've got just three cables in it. Obviously the back box of the switch uh, has to be deep enough to accommodate these three cables. I recommend to use minimum 35 mil uh, depth of the back box. So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, wire all the cables at the switch. So that the cables, or basically wires coming from three cables. Uh, as you see I mark uh, so I can make any mistakes. So this one is um, so this one is from, from previous room 
this cable from previous room or uh, from consumer unit. This one is going to next room, to next switch, and this one is going to the light bulb, basically light fitting. All the Elton wires from all of the, these three cables are connected to the there's a terminal, metal terminal at the back box, so they screw all together. So let's remove these two labels. So this one is going to the next switch, this one is from the previous switch. We need to link it together. To do it I'm using WIGO connectors, but you can also use the terminal blocks. So what we do, we connect these two neutrals together. And also the live or line conductors together. So at the moment we've got the face in the next switch in another room. So now just the uh, cable from the coming from the light fitting in this room needs to be connected some to the switch basically. Let's remove this label as well. So with the ne um, so with the neutral we connect the neutral in here so they are all three all together in one <clears throat> in one connector now we can we need to connect the switch so that's our permanent life this that's our switch life so to we need to connect this to the switch I'm using a bit of wire uh, that I'm connecting to this um, connector so now we've got two wires sticking out that goes to our switch. So the permanent life, which is this one, is goes to COM terminal at the switch. And the switch life is going to the L1 or one way at the switch. I prefer to use this system because it was very convenient, easy to maintain, easy to test. Uh, you've got everything at the switch. So if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.